Hi guys, I'm here today with week 20 Project Life and although I've printed out my photos, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I've got no brand new kits waiting for me, so I am going to dig through this shamefully full drawer of half used and actually there's even some brand new kits in there, so I'm going to just dig through here and pick one kit at random and that is the kit I am going to try and work with today. So it looks like this one is it. So like I said, I've printed my photos, but first I'm just going to have a look what is actually in here. So this will be the remnants of a Pocket Life kit, and I'm assuming it's a sprinkles kit as well. And because of some of the phrases on here, um, talking about New Year's and stuff, so I'm going to say, yeah, see, so these court pieces have got like 2017 and start now and ringing in the New Year, so I'm going to assume that this is the January um, Pocket Life kit from Citrus Twist. So I've got a few things left, a very sparse looking alpha there, there's lots of these die cut pieces, um, some tiny word stickers, some little enamel pieces, those cork bits, there are a couple of the cork ones that were more generic rather than um, you know, New Year's themed so I think I'll be able to use those. There's the really cute stamp set and um, a few of the papers, so oh look there's a 4x6 card as well. And also there were some 3x4 cards there too. So I think I'm going to go with these sort of more aquary colours. I like them the best. So if I shovel this aside, I can um, put my photos where I think they're going to go. And then just see what we've got in terms of cards. So this one is perfect, Snug Life. It couldn't have been any more perfect. Um, we had a snow day and I've got a photo of Shane and Lily all snugged up with a blanket. So that went perfectly. And the rest of the 3x4s I'm just sticking really simply, just again with that sort of teal colour. This one here I reckon I can use, um, the, even though it says 2017, I can cover that up with a photo just by adding the tag there. So I can decide whether to do the darker teal or a lighter teal at the top, but I think I'm going to go with the darker one just to pull out some of the greens in that top photo of Lily. So once I've trimmed that down I'm pretty much ready to go. So just want, I really want to add those cork pieces, they're just, um, they're really pretty. So I've started with the start now one, and I was going to add these like word die cuts, but I really just didn't like them. Um, so I'm going to try something else, I'll just start with this card anyway. So stick my photo down so it just sits on the bottom of that 2017. Normally I'd have it much more centred, but once I add the tag in there, I can cover up all of that 2017. Now I'm working again with these pocket pages that are like, they're so not even, so I am having to trim out quite a few of the cards down from 3x4 to whatever size it is that fits in here. Um, I mean I'm almost having to trim almost a quarter of an inch off them, so it's, it's quite disappointing, but I'll make it work. So I'm going to stick down that cork piece, and I was Desperately looking through these yellow tiny phrase stickers to see if anything would work Just so I could add a few pops of yellow and really I only found one for this photo here, so I stuck it down But I think instead I'm gonna use a couple of different stamp sets from my stash So this is the today was set from Kelly stamps, so I'm just stamping that a couple of times so I get a decent impression um, and I'm going to fill in the bottom with one of the little words that says real life and then I'm just going to trim that out with my scissors and sort of use it like an embellishment. Except because I had already stuck the cork piece down, I wasn't really sure where this was going to go. Sort of wanted to layer it, but I mean I've already stuck it down. So I just trim a little piece off the top and I can sort of slide it under just until it meets the glue and that looks fine by me. And then I'm going to add um, one of the stamps from the Citrus Twist um, set. Just stamp it three times, just sort of a bit of repeat stamping there, and for now that will do. And so um, this photo of Lily, I really wanted to use um, the At Home stamp set from Feed Your Craft. It's got some really cute phrases in there that will work really nicely. Instead of the stays on, I'm using the Versamark ink for these ones. So I'm just going to layer up um, a few of the stamps. 
I love these ones, um, the stamp set's got all these tiny little words as well. So I'm going to add one more to that card I did down the bottom. And then add one of the same size ones to the top of this cluster of stamps. And that's pretty much it for that photo. And this one here, at first I thought I was going to use this 100% real life. We had, a, like I said, a snow day. So I wanted to add that on. Um, and I wasn't sure where I was going to put it. And then I found another stamp that says, um, that says it's a good day to stay at home. And I really wanted it in the bottom right hand corner there. But because of where the other cluster on that um, other card was, it sort of felt like it would be too heavy down there. So I decided to put it up on the left instead. And then I'm just going to add a few little puffy stickers to that. Now this card here is literally just going to get two stamps, one from the Citrus Twist set and another from the At Home Feed Your Craft set. Just going to stamp them on the wee label that's printed on the card and that is pretty much it. Now I super wanted to use this other cork piece but I didn't like the word begin, it just didn't suit my layout. So what I thought I'd try and do is stamp on it. And actually it worked really well. Um, my stays on ink is really dry, I really need a new one, so it probably would have worked better with stays on. So I've used the VeriSafine and it did stay wet for a long time, so when I glued it down I just put it on some scrap paper um, and I left that for a long time before I put it in the pocket. And I wanted to add one more cork piece, you know I like things in threes, and I really wanted to add this circle, but actually this little line of cork looked much better. I'm not going to stamp anything on it, I'm literally just going to use it like a, just like an embellishment. And now I can work on my title card. So like I said, I've got a really sparse alphabet and there is a puffy shaped sticker that looks like a label. So that'll be perfect for um, stamping my date stamp on. There was this wee um, glassine bag that the cork pieces came in and I thought that would be great. I'm going to put a tag in there because as you'll see, there's not much journaling this week. It was a little bit um, of an up and down week, so I do want to put some journaling in there, but I don't want that to be visible to everybody else. So I'm going to put the journaling on the back of the tag, and that will stay hidden up there on my title card. Now I didn't have any E's, but I did have two F's, and I thought I might be able to make them into E's by just adding some wee cutout pieces, and it worked perfectly well. So I'm just lining that up, and I'm going to stick that on the glassine bag, just so that the two and the zero cover up the sort of staple holes that were on there. And then I can just add, um, there was a little cutout piece already on there, so I'm not sure what that was from, um, but I'm going to add another one just from a U that I know I won't use. And that's week 20, sits there fine. I'm going to stamp onto the puffy sticker. So it is slick, so I'm just using um, the Stays On ink and stamping really carefully. And I had to use a ballpoint pen to draw um, onto there. And then off camera I can do my journaling and that is it for this week. So I challenge you to break out one of your uh, partially used kits and try and use up as much as you can. Add to it from your stash, you'll be surprised at the results you can get. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!